late last year we were expecting our first baby and we were really excited about that of course we didn't know if it was going to be a boy or a girl um, I pushed for two and a half hours and we ended up having to have a c-section yeah you could tell she just that she was cold and shaky and it seemed as her coloring was just she was very pale so I had hemorrhaged and um, they had a, they were doing everything they could to stop the bleeding so she went into a uh, surgery um, to try to figure out what was going on. Um, they gave her blood and then that surgery didn't work and you saw that she was bleeding again so she basically ended up hem hemorrhaging a second time. And by the end of the night um, I had received 22 units of blood plus platelets and saline. I shudder to think about what would have happened had the blood not been there. Um, I just can't imagine my baby growing up without a mom, and I can't imagine my husband having to raise her by himself. It was because of donors from our congregation and from other places that um, that I'm even here today. And um, the next morning, um, the elders were there first thing and telling us there's blood available. What, whatever you need, you know, it's going to be there. So don't worry about that. It's it's a huge load off of family to know that because we're members of Memorial Road, we have that opportunity to tap into the blood that you guys have donated. I will be completed.